what is up the legends and we are back we back in some new goodness um so i just want to really show you guys um how i handle things now we're at level 54 and we're drastically underpowered because it's just the way the game is uh you don't get a lot of potions to actually grind with it's like they specifically make that relatively annoying to actually get you can farm and get enough currency to actually do it, but then you use all your currency on that and not summon him, which I still <laughs> gonna do anyway. But um, what I want to really show you is the importance of your third skill and which one that you actually choose. Now for me with farming and doing hard content, I chose the light shot. And the reason why I chose the light shot is because it does this. So that stun right there, you can essentially take somebody out to fight for a few seconds, which it gives you enough time that maybe if you want to actually heal or you just want to keep stuff separated so you can be able to handle things. Did I flatten this both? How? That's weird. But you see my skill right there. The third one, this light shot is amazing. Look, they're both stunned. Stop their attack gives you extra time that you can get your refresh on both your heal skill and your heal potion and it has very good crowd control now a lot of people do the flame shot that comes from the boss but I do this skill because um, it doesn't get counted a lot it's not there's not a lot of things that are immune to it and it usually every time it hits it stuns like 100% so it's good in PvP, it's good in um, PvE, very useful skill, especially useful and stuff like this, like you know like in these dungeons unless you're like grinding 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 you're gonna be behind most of the time in power, look at that stun right there, just stop them from doing anything, I walked into that like a big dummy but I'm using a long skill. So that was on fire. It's fine. We did. So that's done again, boy. This skill is so clutch. I don't still hit me. There we go. Now you also gotta remember that the um the missions, they don't have time limit. Only like the uh, the Labyrinth Zone, that has a time limit. But these missions right here, they don't have time limit. So you need to take time and run around and not get curb stomped. By all means, go ahead and do that. Okay, so you're repeatable. I'm going to head over here and do that. So, show you what skill I got. Let him just run around. This is lightning orb. Fires a magical uh, a magic orb of light that pierces and temporarily stuns the enemy. The orb explodes once it travels a maximum distance and deals damage. Um, it'll cause damage as it goes through everything as well. It deals 191% attack as light damage stuns the enemy for one second and deals 143% attack light when it explodes and then stuns for two seconds so if it if it actually stops and um explodes on them they get two seconds um if it goes through them they get one so let's keep that in mind um a lot of people use pillar of flame this is the one that comes from um the boss fight if you're lucky and getting pieces to it and stuff like that which it is nice my only problem with it is is that it really doesn't seem like it does a lot of damage in my opinion compared to the other skills it's good aoe and stuff like that but i already have plenty of aoe before my skills i want something with utility but you start looking at like what the other stuff does like decreases party damage taken by 20 percent blind to enemies like that's really good got defensive field right here attack um attack speed move speed by 10% that's good utility 
You have Unleashed Blade. Which again, that creates attack by 10 seconds. The basic um, attacks change the energy form, consider the base attack. Energy deals light damage. Like, this is extremely good. Firecracker, I'm like, I'm not that big of a fan of. It's one of the easier ones to actually get. Um, my next thing is to try to get is this meteor strike because look how much damage that does and it stuns for two seconds the problem with that is in pvp um you're really gonna hardly get a computer dodges out of anything that you um aim directly on the ground at them i've found that out with other classes so i don't think that this is going to do too well like in pvp computer wise um Against a person, they might be smart enough not to get hit by it, but we'll see. Um, Water Bomb is actually really good as well, because it's fast, that's a lot of damage, and the cooldown is really low. 25 seconds is low. Just to be throwing that out, that's a really low thing. So then you have Frozen Storm, which creates an absolute zero um, deal damage and move speed, which is good for team PvP if you're, if you're fighting with people like in... The lava zone, that's really good. Got leaf dance right there, deals 98% um, attack as earth damage per hit. Really good. Grasping, this is also good too because it's quick. It immediately hits. Doesn't do a lot of damage as you guys can see, but it immediately hits. It does have a long cooldown with 50 seconds though. Static field is also good with the stun, 40 seconds. Not a lot of damage, but again, utility stun. That's good for farming. This is extremely good. I don't know where it's at, <laughs> but it's really good. It's called Tempest of Light. Um, actually, I do know where it's at. It's like 15 levels higher than me in the Chaos Zone. Uh, some of the of Light, 57% uh, uh, like damage, the um, cooldown is really high though, but it's so fast. Like, that's really fast. We have Dark Balloon, that's kind of fast, not so much though. But the cooldown right there on it is 25 seconds, that's pretty good, and it blinds. We got Shadow Disc. I'm not too sure if that's going to be that useful. It might be one of the things that people are going to move out of it, even monsters might move out of it. But it stuns for 3 seconds on the second hit. Which is like, wow, okay. And you got Starfall with... Look how long that lasts. That's a good bit of time. It deals 40% damage per hit. Decreases the movement speed, so definitely good in PvP. But that cooldown is a long time. So I'm probably going to get Static Field and Meteor Strike. And then not care about the rest of them. Unless I need them specifically for a fight or something like that. But where you actually get this, I'll go to, no, we won't even do that. We'll go to the chaos area. You can see it first hand. Okay, um, let's see, you know, we go. I'm on 4-3, but that's not where I got it. I got it from 4-2. Alright, so which one did it start dropping on so I could tell you properly? Was it 50? It was not 50, so that means it was 52. Yep. Magic Orb Lightning. Now what you need to do is you need to get 30 of these pages, and then once you get 30 of the pages, you see this is the monster is on the second floor and the collapsed records right there. And you can kind of see where all of the skills are. But I specifically went after that one. You can also get these as well. And they also have Firecracker in here, which I'm not a fan of. Um, Leaf Dance is not bad. Cat, can you shut up? But when you get it, what you can do is you can head over to it. I think we, just, we still have plenty of them. And then find the Traveling Merchants. The Traveling Merchant is like channel 1 right there. Um, it's going to take us over there to it. 
I'm telling you guys, this skill is perfect for farming. Is is how I beat the labyrinth. Um, I didn't have that skill, but I started using this skill in, in the um in the labyrinth, and it's clutch because it stops stuff from moving at you, and it allows you to do more damage and not get beat up. Um, so they got Starfall in here today. The also the other um caveat to this is that sometimes it's not here, so you have to just keep finding him throughout the day and so he has it in here for you to actually pick up which is unfortunate but you can get like other stuff in here if you have the pages for it which I probably don't nope so the merchant doesn't have anything useful for me right now but if there's anything in here that you know you might want to pick up then you know go for it that little soul stone right there and everything but this is naturally where you get it. Uh, I don't believe... Is there another one somewhere? I think this is the only one. Could be wrong, though. Uh, let, let's try it out. Nope. Yeah, this is the only one right now. I think there was two up before, which is weird. Which is why I'm trying to do that now. So that's how I got it. Because it wasn't in the first one. Now, I don't know if it just changed while I was there or something like that. But like 10 minutes later. It was like. This one was still here. Like not in this position. But it was still here. But it popped up again on the screen. I was like huh? And I went to that one. And then it had the um, the lightning orb. And I was like oh. I thought there was one. <laughs> So I don't know if that was glitched or bugged or whatever else, but I got it. That's I found it. But I do know that it changes where it's at all the time. So if you go there and you don't see it, just keep coming back to it whenever it announces on your chat. And then you'll eventually get it. But trust me, this skill is is clutch. It is 100% clutch. It's super useful. So I will catch you guys next video. That's all I got. Um, I didn't want to say anything else. No need to prolong the video any longer. Hopefully this will be helpful for, for you guys. If you're stuck anywhere on power, you see we're at 54 CP. I mean 54 level and then 313 K CP. So we making moves and doing our thing. Like I, I rarely ever get stuck longer than like a day. I just go farm and go get more gear or use my alts and get more resources and level up my armor and stuff like that and then I just come back and just stomp on stuff but I always seem to never be able to catch up level wise like I don't I, I even leave my characters to farm and stuff like that and it's like I can just never catch up level wise CP wise I could probably eke out and catch up but I think you need like and you can't even buy it if you wanted to I think you need like 20 to 30 energy potions and just leave your character farming would increase exp just to even catch up so it seems like there's a um there's kind of a problem in this game when it comes to that they need to give us more energy potions because we just don't have enough right now see you guys next video peace and have a good one thank you legends for getting to the end of the video we do three to four videos every day don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be first in notification squad i love everybody who stops by and i will see you next video peace